It can be difficult to determine whether or not you've placed the right amount of oil in the train jewels of a watch. There needs to be enough oil that it's visible with your loop. It should not flood the oil sink. A general rule is that the oil will go up the pivot no more than half the depth of the oil sink. However, some watches have very large oil wells or oil sinks and can accommodate much more than necessary. This picture shows a completely dry pivot. No oil has been applied to it, and you can see that all the surfaces are clean and shiny. The next pivot shows a dirty application. The quantity is okay. You can see the presence of oil there, but you can also see that there is some debris in the oil. This debris will draw the oil away from the pivot so that it doesn't perform its essential duties. When oil is applied to the train jewels, it should be applied cleanly and precisely. This jewel shows that oil is on top of the flat area of the jewel. Once it touches the walls and the bridges, the texture on the bridge will use capillary action to draw the oil away from the pivot, leaving it dry. In this picture, the oil was applied too high on a tall fourth wheel pivot. No oil is between the jewel and the pivot. This area will wear and cause timing problems as well as running problems with the watch. One of the best ways to assess oil, but which is not practical in everyday service, is to carefully remove the bridge, remove the wheel from the jewel, and look at the size of the circle underneath. When there is too much oil, it will actually run over the shoulder and start running down towards the pinion. The rougher texture on this portion of some wheels will cause the oil to be drawn away from the important area, leaving the pivot again dry. It's easiest to test for oil by moving the pivot and the wheel or pinion in the jewel, much like you would to test side shake or in shake. Looking for reflections of light and looking for the oil itself, you can usually see it moving around in the space between and watching as the light reflection changes. When there is no oil present, you won't see a change in the reflection simply by moving the pivot around in this space. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, you can visit our webpage, www.awci.com, to sign up for our continuing education classes, to register to attend our annual convention, to join AWCI, or to find a professional watchmaker or clockmaker near you.